<laughs> hey guys, this is Ray Tanatos and today we are doing the Care City of Sintranos walkthrough part 13. This is the last part for this rotation. We will be starting with stage S20. Let's see the champions that we could use for this stage. So, we could use Taguar, Alur, Duke the Pierced, Archmage Helmuth and even Akoth the Seth. Unfortunately, the conditions for this stage are very poor, but we will have to work with what is given to us. Let's see the fight now. So guys, wave number one, we have Double Coronar, Warchief, Sneak Track and Bamboo's Four Leaf. Now for this stage, I suggest that you crowd control the wave, of course, and kill Bamboo's and the Double Coronar first, because they will try to make this fight last a lot longer than it should. As you can see, if you have a decent ignore set on Allure, she will nook. Don't worry for the damage reflect, that's why we have Tagoa inside the team, because he's a reviver. So, wave number 2, we have Double Krasdur, Gurtug, Korgar and Dot Cordon the Conjoined. So, firstly try to crowd control the enemy team, because if you don't, they will crowd control you. And then try to one shot Togron the Conjoined, because he's a very very big healer. After that, try to kill both Grazurs, then Korugar Deathbell and you will be alright. As you can see, the sleep from Allure will help you deal with the unkillable on Grazurs. Negative affinity here doing its tricks once again. I just don't want to die. Hopefully, we have group to on the enemy team, and with his poisons, they will die. So wave number 3, we have Double Rotos, Sifi, Ultimate Death Knight and Necret the Great. This is a very very hard to beat wave if you are not prepared for it of course. Now try to kill Sifi first because she is the reviver, then I would go for either UDK or Necret and then you can deal with the Rotoses. We got lucky with Halur and she one shotted UDK. So that was it guys, that was stage S20, let's go on the next one now. Stage S21 now, let's see the champions that we can use. We can use Misinaki, 
Kimi is a very very valuable champion for this stage, Ugo, Venomage, Ignatius and even another epic named Hotachu can really help you with this stage. Let's see the fight. So, wave number one, we have double counterpoint, double more to Macab and Duchess Lilithu. Now here you really really need some crowd control because those more to Macabs will try to one shot you and of course block revive. So the first champions that I decided to focus is more to Macabs, then kill Duchess Lilithu if it's possible to crowd control her and then you can go to Candrapons of course. As you can see, Lady Kimi with her 10 meter reduction is really the key for this fight. So, wave number 2, we have Double Horse Ring, Martyr, Cardiel and Errol. For this stage, if you have Ugo, things will be a lot better for you because now you have to crowd control just Cardiel, you don't care about what Martyr does. Now, the first target that I should focus here is Cardiel, then Martyr and then the other champions of course. Now if you are having problems with Cardiel and his cleansing, you can try some stun sets on the Ugos of course. Now, I don't really care that I'm losing champions because if you remember, when Nuko is left as the last champion on the table, she will be able to revive the whole team with her A3. As you can see here, if all allies are dead, she will revive them. She got the block damage applied and now very very easy you get one of the best revivers on the game it just needs some special conditions to pop this is a hard wave to deal but that's only because of the conditions that they allow us and the champions that they allow us to play with. Also here you can see the real power of Errol and how good of a nuker he is. This champion personally for me, he helped me to reach Quintus. And again, we are using Ugo as a reviver. This fight might be slow, but as we always say, slow and steady wins the race. Doesn't matter how much time it will take, it just matters to win it one time. And we will be heading on the last wave of course, without our Venomage, no problem though. So wave number 3 we have Double King Karo, Graka, Krilla and Artak. Here again 
The champion that we want to really focus first is Raka because she's a reviver and then Krilla. After that you can maybe kill Artak and King Karok. Do whatever you want, you will see which champion has the lowest HP so that you can kill him. After you have done with the reviver of course. And Raka is down. Again, we are using our Ugo as a reviver. Very unique champion. So that was it guys, that was stage S21, let's go on the next one now. So guys, we are facing S22, it's a double boss, Tainted Hellraiser and Astranix. Now, for this stage, what you need? You need a good crowd controller to start the fight with so that he can crowd control the enemy team and in that case it's your team of course. So, let's see the champions that we can use. We can use Razelvag, Wukong, Gnisak. Teumesia is a very very solid champion when you are facing Astralix of course, Astralon is another nice champion, Gwendoling, Coronar, Pan of course, Samael and Leorius. Now you could even use some other champions like Emic if you want, but this could really be a counterplay when Astralix revives them again. Let's see the fight now. So as you can see we are using Wukong as a nuker, he destroyed everyone in the wave. We are using Samael for his solid single target DPS. And again, using the A2 of Wukong, we already killed Tainted Hellraiser. So basically that was it guys, that was stage S22, very easy double boss, let's go on the next stage now. So guys we are on stage S23 and we are facing the first awakened stage for this area. Let's see some of the champions that we can use. We can use Valkyrie, Artak, Gnat, Ragas, Martyr, Arix is an insane champion that is free to play, Iron Brago, Skill, Helicath, Discard, Magnar and even Vogoth. Let's see the fight. So wave number one, we are facing Staltus, Lord Shazar, Morigain, Baistofus and Tormin the Call. So if it's possible try to crowd control the enemy wave, if it's not possible try to apply some defensive buffs on your team and slowly kill them. Personally I would go for Staltus, Lord Shazar, then Morigain, then Tormin and Baistofus last but not least. Come on, die! Good. 
Wave number two, we are facing Cethalia, Raka, Errol, Jag, and Kantra. Of course, for this wave, I suggest that you kill the Reviver first, which is Raka. Then maybe go for Cethalia, Kantra, Errol, and in the end, you can face Jag. As you can see, Ragas is one-shotting this wave, even on this stage of the game. Amazing champion and amazing nuker, this Ragas. Wave number 3, we are facing Chris, Lady Kimi, Kronak, Susan and Yannicka. Again, try to crowd control and kill Susan first, then go for Lady Kimi maybe. Then you can kill Chris, the Ageless and Yannicka. We chose to froze Suzen and then with the AOE freeze the fight is really really easy. Remember again and again if you are having trouble and you don't have a champion that can AOE freeze, AOE stun, AOE fear etc. Just apply the stun set on one of your AOE champions and this will really really work. And that was it guys, that was stage S23, the first awakened stage. Let's go on the last two stages of this rotation. Stage S24, another awakened stage. Let's see the champions that we can use. We can use Gnisak. Countess Leaks is a very, very key champion for this stage. Ronda, Trunda, Siegfried, and Ifelim, of course, if you have him. UDK, Misinaki, Rathalos, Gwendolyn. Razin is another very good champion for this stage. And Gaius the Gleeful, as you all know, the Bomber. He's an insane champion when it comes to crowd control and destroying enemy waves. Let's see the stage now. Wave number one, we are facing Warlord, Zetni, Alsgor, Altan and Thea. So, for this stage you really really need to have crowd control so that you can crowd control at least Warlord and Alsgor because you don't want your abilities to be locked out or you don't want Alsgor to apply the block AoE damage for his team. He just got the block damage on him, but that's not not the problem. We will just wait until the storm passes. So, wave number 2, we are facing Gnasius, Venus, Cupidus, Lonatharil and Hefrak. Now, again, for this wave you need some crowd control, you need some decrease attack AoE because the champions here really can hurt you. Now, first, try to kill Hefrak because you don't want his passive to pop up if you kill someone else. Then go for Cupidus, then Venus and you already passed this wave. And wave number 3 now, Yumiko, Karato, Gofred, Boragar and Trunda. So, try to lock them out if that's possible, of course, if you have Countess League as we did here. Try to crowd control them. I don't know, maybe kill Trunda, then go for Karato, then you can kill whoever is left with low HP, of course. And that was it guys, that was stage S24, let's go on our final stage of the whole rotation. So guys, we are finally here, we have finally reached the last stage in this rotation, rotation number 5 of the Care City of Sintranos. Let's see the champions that we can use on this stage. Now, we could use Rotos, Arix, Ninja, Countess Leaks, Xena, Foley, Kandrafog, Hurnig is a very nice champion too. Ronda, of course, if you have seen my live arena videos, 
Sysmax and she can fully control the enemy waves, Allure, Geomancer, Ragal, and even Royal Guard. So let's see the fight now. So wave number one, we have Ragas, Elva, Coronar, Minaya, and Bigun. So for this wave, I suggest that you kill Coronar first because he is a very annoying champion. Then kill Elva, of course, and that's if you are able to crowd control her or lock her abilities out because if you are not able to crowd control her then go for Elva first. Then I don't know, you can kill maybe Ragas because you do want to avoid his nooks and then Bigun. Wave number 2, we are facing Sisia, Valkyries, Kartosis, Foley and Cartiel. Again, if it's possible for you, try to lock out their abilities. If not, try to at least crowd control Valkyrie and Cartiel because those are the champions that will try to make this fight take a lot longer than it should. And finally, we have the last wave of this video, Sifi, Rotos, Kandrafon, Kyoku and Badel. Another hardcore wave, but don't worry, we will manage to defeat it. Now, firstly kill Sifi, try to crowd control Kyoku, try to crowd control Badel Kazar because he will try to remove all the CC that you have applied on the enemy team. And after you kill Badel and Sifi, of course, the fight is already done and you have mastered another full Sintranos rotation. So that was it guys, that was stage S25, we have already defeated another Sintranos rotation, Sintranos number 5 down, and that's how we managed to get Carnage, if you've seen our world's first Carnage showcase, that's how we got him, I needed to release the showcase first of course, and then slowly show you each stage of Sintranos and how we did it. Thank you for watching, I really hope that you are okay both mentally and physically, I hope to see you on my next video, bye bye!